What's going on guys? Welcome back to Uber Adventures. I'm John and today we're looking at the Sport Trek 332 BBH by Venture RV. Now this RV is going to be perfect for your weekend getaway or even a long two week getaway. Full family, just two of y'all, however you want to do it, this is great for that. So before we jump into this, y'all are killing it. Uh, my subscribers are blowing up. I'm a, I want to say two, 250, 200 and some change away from being monetized. So I want to just say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It really means the world to me. I know a lot of people say that, but I think no matter what kind of YouTube genre video you're making, the ultimate goal is to you know get monetized, be able to make a little bit of extra money on the side and do what you love to do at the end of the day because I love selling RVs. I love checking out new RVs. I think it's a blast and I feel like you do too. So let's go ahead and jump into that. But if you do like this video, hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell notification. I'll keep on putting out videos for y'all. So let's hop on in. All right, guys, let's take a look at the Sport Trek by Venture RV. And one of my favorite things that they do, because this is a front living. So this big giant window right here that you can barely see through because it's the middle of the day is a window and it's facing in the bedroom. So you can kind of enjoy sunlight when it comes out or you can just cover it up. It's totally fine. It already has the uh, blackout shades, so that's totally fine. But I just love front windows, especially when my room is part of the front area. So you get to enjoy the window every morning, every night. It's just an awesome feeling. I love it. I have a bunch of windows in my bedroom, so I love it like this. Coming down, it looks like you have tw two 20 pound tanks of propane. You have a location to be able to fit about two batteries right here. You have your battery shut off located right there and this does have a solar panel so it's going to maintain that 12 volt uh, battery system you also have a power tongue jack that's probably about 3500 pound tongue jack that's correct based off of what it says and it's lit of course so if it's nighttime and you're struggling to get hooked up well guess what never fear you have lights that will save the day so that's pretty awesome and super convenient and then I don't talk about it often, but the most common ball sizes you're gonna have, which is you know the thing that you see on the back of trucks if you've never owned one, is you're gonna have the small one, which is a two inch, which looks like this. This is your two inch ball. And then I wanna say this is a two and five sixteenths right here. So it's noticeably bigger. So, and you don't wanna go too small. Yes, you'll survive with a two inch ball, but it can cause a lot of shifting in there and it doesn't truly lock down with your ball lock right here. So that does actually matter. So advice, just get the right size ball and you'll be protected, you'll be safe. All right, let's go around to this side. Pass through storage, fairly large. It's also lit. Coming down, now these have the manual crank stabilizers, but I say it every time, get yourself a drill, get yourself the drill bits, and you will actually beat, and I had a, a conversation with somebody and I proved it to them, I can beat you with your hydraulic or your electric stabilizers with a drill and a drill bit all the way around by the time you get two of yours down, I promise you. So if you wanna challenge me, let's do it. Let me know down in the comments. All right, and then we're gonna go over this giant awning. It's lit underneath. You can see the LEDs because right now we've got a very cloudy day here in Cumby, Texas, which is beautiful. I love the clouds, especially on camera. So yes, it's lit up, coming down. We have kind of the, all the information. So it's weather shield, so it's a uh, heated underbelly. It's enclosed as well. And then it has Asdell on board, which if you've watched any of my other videos, you've heard it a million times. I love Asdell. I think Asdell is so much better than, I think it's Lawan, which is basically a thin piece of wood that they will then connect or glue together, basically, your fiberglass outer shell to the Lawan on the inside. But that Lawan is made out of wood. Asdell is not made out of wood, so you're not gonna get the delamination because it's not affected by the weather. 
So if it's super hot, it's not gonna do anything. If it's super cold, it's not gonna do anything. If it gets wet, guess what? Not gonna do anything. So you're gonna be good to go all the way around. Then you have, which I love their logo, the Venture RV logo, along with a bottle opener, but I also say you could put a leash in there and keep your pet nearby. So that's always a huge plus. Now, one thing that I noticed on this one, and we haven't gotten a sport trek or anything by Venture yet with a actual RV fridge. So if you're a fan of RV fridges, this one has an RV fridge, which is a good thing. That means it runs, and this is what I'm pointing at. This right here just tells me that this is the place where a technician would get in and service your refrigerator. So if power were to go out wherever you're at, you can turn on the gas and it will keep your food cold so there is a huge plus if you don't live in north texas we had a big freeze out a couple years ago and i pulled out all my food out of my refrigerator because all my power went out and i put it in my rv turned on the gas and it kept my fridge cold so the argument is 12 volt versus rv there are huge benefits to the rv fridge so don't just shut it out because it, it doesn't seem like a good thing or whatever the case may be there is always a pro and a con to everything so that's one of the biggest pros that stood out to me. It saved all my food, which was probably two, $250 worth of food. So I stand by this. So, and then you have all LED side lights and tail lights and everything. And of course you have a plug right there. That's gonna be your vent for your vent hood. Always make sure you close it after you've used it because I've seen those get ripped off by driving down the side of the road. One of my favorite things in RVs, especially the ones that we sell, are the sturdy steps. Well, these are called step aboves. Every brand has their own name. Same general concept. But the best part is, if you're not trying to wake anybody up and you go through the back door, you get the same steps. The same steps. Usually this is a huge upgrade. Or you have to take it to a technician and have them remove the other steps. So I don't know if it's because it's right over the axle that you can't get those drop down steps like that one right there. But if that's the reason, then by all means, I love having my door over the axle to be able to get the upgraded step. I like that a lot. Coming on down. So you have your outdoor kitchen, but you also have your propane nozzle right there. So you could bring your own grill. We're gonna open this big thing up. There we go. And the cool thing is, is it can work like an awning. So days like today, if I needed to cook something, again, I always tell everybody I am Mexican. So this is perfect for me. I could be grilling up some tacos. I don't care if it's raining. I can come over here, yank this bad boy out. Ugh. Should have tested it before I did that. Oh, uh, there we go. I'm not even worried about locking it in. But now I have a place to watch TV, listen to music. I believe this light switch controls that little LED, blue LED, which looks awesome. I'm a nerd. I got a computer and I promise you it's loaded with G, uh, RGB all over it. Uh, this is a Furion stereo. It's Bluetooth. So you can just play music out of your own phone or something or whatever you want to do. And then of course you got your beer fridge. I would actually keep my kids drinks in here because they'd be outside playing. And to be honest, I don't drink beer. Never understood it, not against it, just never understood the flavor of it. But you do what you wanna do. And then you got more storage on both sides of the, the door so you can put whatever you need. Heck, I could even see myself out here cooking, having somebody over and playing video games against each other. That would actually be pretty awesome outside. We'd be screaming, people would be freaking out. What's going on, what's going on? Oh, they're just playing video games. So just ideas, whatever you wanna use this space for, but that's what I would be doing. Let's check, I believe this is a six gallon. Yeah, this is a six gallon hot water heater. Eey. I always look classy and talented. Ow, I just crammed my, slammed my finger in there. Be careful. Ouch, poor finger. All right, so you do have a hitch down below. It is a 250 pound hitch. 
It is lit down there a little bit, the little blue lights. I love those little blue lights. 250 pound hitch. If you need a generator, a, a bike rack or anything like that, that's perfect. Do not try to tow a car. I promise you, it's gonna wind up being a bad day for you. All LEDs again, tail lights look awesome with LEDs. And then of course it's pre-wired for your backup camera. You've got a pinion side uh, style slide right here. It's all electric, which is a good thing. It's much cheaper to repair an electric than a hydraulic. This has two AC, so you're gonna get a 50 amp plug-in. And then you got another slide right here, which is beautiful. I love slides. It just changes the inside dynamics so much. I think it looks so good. And it makes it look bigger just naturally. I don't know what it is. I guess it's like a transformer. When they come out, it just looks so awesome. And then right here, we have the docking station. I need to unlock these so I can start showing people what's underneath. And then this is a flush valve for your black tank. And then this is the other side of your pass-through storage and your cable. Speaking of cables, I need a sponsor. I need a 100-foot cable because this is what I use. One of our technicians... He built these himself, and so I just borrow them whenever I can. So he built that piece to extend, and then I got a long one that literally goes all the way to that light pole. There's uh, RV plugins there. So I need a sponsor. So if anybody knows a cable company that wants to give me 100-foot cables, it'd mean the world to me. But guys, so that's the outside. Let's hop inside, okay? Before we go inside, because it's been raining on and off, I'm gonna put my tripod up over here underneath a little bit of awning, which I don't need to be leaving this awning out because it's not good. In the, I mean, it's not windy out. I just don't want the rain to like overweigh it or whatever. So let's go ahead and turn around. All right, so again, stable, st uh, sturdy steps in the front and the back. So you're gonna have three steps. Next step is gonna be in the RV. I do wanna point out this has the screen defender and I do not have that memorized. It literally says right there. But the whole idea is to prevent like kids or animals from scratching up your screen, which on the other side of your screen door, it is exposed. So if you have a pet trying to get inside, just be very uh, aware that they will damage your door. On this side, you don't have to worry about near as much. But let's go on in. And let's stop right here because right at the entrance we have a door that I did not notice before. Okay, storage from this side. That's cool. And then down here you do have your fuse panel and all that good stuff. And then on the entrance you have a hanging place to hang jackets or anything else that you possibly need. And then right above that... See, it has solar panels on it, just telling you. It's got a 25 year warranty, which is a huge plus. So you have your Bluetooth enabled solar controller, and then you have your uh, all your controls for the RV. You, you can look at your, your tanks, fresh tank, battery, black, gray tanks, and up here it will light up and tell you how full it is. Since it's plugged in and there's actually no battery, it's just telling you it's full because it's plugged in. You have your water pump if you're going to just do city water. And then you got, actually, no, yeah, if you're going to do city water. And then you got, actually, no, it's uh, if you're using uh, the water, the, the fresh tank. And then you got your electric heater, uh, your propane heater and your electric heater all right there. Uh, and then you have your awning, a light switch for the interior, I believe. Yeah. And then you have your awning light. And then you have your uh, slides right here. So lots right there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the bedroom, which I know a lot of people don't like these styles of bedrooms. It does have doors that will close right here. They're not pocket doors, they're kind of pocket doors, but not pocket doors at the same time. And they're on both sides, so they meet in the middle and uh, have a magnet that connects the two. Um, the bedroom is actually quite large. You do have a queen bed, but you have plenty of ample room, I love that word, to actually get on side of the bed, as you can see. 
But to me, I would probably still take a running jump and just land on the bed from here. <laughs> but, I mean, seriously, there is plenty of room all the way around. This side feels like it's got a little bit more room, but I'm a lefty, so this might make more sense getting in the bed on the left-hand side, like on my, my body. So I'm not really sure. And then of course you have places to plug in right there. And then you have a place to put stuff. And I believe there's a little cubby hole underneath as well. And then you have a place to plug in over there also. You have little reading lights, which you can turn off right here. Or no, that's the bedroom. <gasps> I like that much better. That is so perfect. So your bedroom light, you can get in bed, get comfortable and not have these on. I could turn those off and then when it's time for bed, flip that switch and I'm good to go. Oh, I love that. Unless you're sitting over there and you're like, turn off the light. No, turn off the light. No, I love that. And then you have storage up here. Goes all the way across. Probably can't see anything because it's dark up there. And then of course you have your hanging storage right there. Beautiful. All right. So let's go ahead and do the kitchen because that's kind of the next visible thing. Again, you have, so you have a drying rack on this one. Not all of them necessarily have one. They sometimes have that cover or what have you, but I do like the drying rack personally, uh, especially if you're just doing like silverware real quick and you can just throw them on top. Um, some people told me about ways to cook and include these to kind of like sear some meat or whatever the case may be. So. Use your imagination. You don't have to use them just the one way. And then of course, underneath you have a beautiful sink. Ah, super shiny. Gotta love a clean sink. Only if mine at home would look like that. And then of course you have a matte black faucet. And I do like the combination of the colors of this and the, 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 the chrome or metal or aluminum look of the sink it goes together very well and of course this one has a cutting board that comes with it i always say turn it over so you're not messing up your little venture logo and it slides oops it fits perfectly right there so you can cut clean do whatever you need to do you can slide it over push all the whatever you're getting rid of the fat and just push it into the sink or into a bag, however you want to do it. I like the fact that it comes with this. Would I use it personally? No. I take very big pride in my cooking and my knives. So bamboo is really hard on knives, just so you know. Then we go kind of to the right. We have storage up here. Oh yeah, and they typically have storage. Oops, I just threw that. They typically have storage, which you can tell by that little uh, piano, uh, hinge right there so this one you just have a couple plugs but you have a place to put stuff what I would do is I would take little hooks that you can screw into something screw in a few of them right here and have this for my keys I like that a lot and it stays right there because I lose all my stuff I've started getting better but I promise you in a week I'll stop doing what I was doing and lose everything so storage right here and then you have a Furion microwave with a turntable. And as far as brand on this thing, I'm guessing it's probably a Furion because everything in here is Furion as far as the cooking side of things. So you have a Furion place to cook. It also has the red light. So if you accidentally bump it on, you will know it's three burner on top. And then of course, I'd say chicken couple chicken size uh, oven and then again I, I don't see a brand on here typically you'd have the Furion brand but I don't see a brand anywhere on here unless this is covering it up but I'm not gonna peel it off yeah I don't see any branding on it anywhere but it's a vent hood who really cares you're not gonna be like oh you're telling me that's not Furion I mean come on <laughs> We have our RV fridge. It's a Norcold brand. So it's not turned on or it is. I don't know. There it goes. And then you can tell how cold you have it set. You can pick the different levels. You can pick the different mode. 
So this one's plug with automatic. So if the power went out, it's try to switch over to propane, which I believe that's the little drop. But right now we're not really trying to, uh, uh, these are very sensitive. But yeah, polar built in mind with you in mind. So, I mean, it's still a very large fridge. You also have a separate fr uh, freezer, which is actually pretty large. It's about the same size as a 12 volt. So you get a lot out of it. I just figured it out. You have to hold down the power to turn it off. So you just push it to turn it on. You have to hold it down to turn it off. Not that hard. Just takes a couple seconds to figure it out. Down here, huge storage area. Perfect for your pots and pans. And any other big cooking stuff would fit in there. It's nice and deep. Easy to close. Normally I can't close these drawers with my feet just that easy. Like I didn't even have to put any oomph behind it. And then of course we're gonna come right here. We have my favorite space. We've got the TV just under it. You have a place that you could actually lay stuff on top. And then right here, you have your Bluetooth stereo, just like the one outside. This is a Furion, Bluetooth it, and you got audio. You're good to go, you're rocking out. And then you just have storage on this side. It actually looks like you could fit a uh, PlayStation in there pretty easily. And then of course, right now I have heat coming out because I think it's in the 40s and I'd rather not be cold. And I don't want to use any of the propane. And it's kept this whole room nice and warm. And I, I just changed the colors just to give it a little bit of a variation, just something different, you know, so you can see that it does multiple colors, gives you different kind of, if you got a different feeling, you know, sometimes you just want a traditional looking, you can definitely do that as well. You have, I think they call these trifold couches, so you can turn it into a bed. They are Thomas Paine brand. And then just above it, you have a switch that turns off the lights on the top. So if we flip that switch again, all the way across, except for this one. All right, tons of storage up here and it's tinted glass. So you can actually put things that you don't want people to see and it's not gonna be easy to see through it. Now I haven't gone over the price just yet. I may have put it on the screen, but it's selling for $49,999. MSRP is $69,997. So you're getting a huge savings. Huge place to sit and eat. You can turn it into a bed as well, of course. You could probably sleep two here easily. Um, and then you have storage underneath. Super simple, super easy. With a little pan. You know, so if, if, if you're a, uh, if you clean tables for a living, you got your job here still. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I used to be a busser too, so I know what, I know the struggles. And then just close that. Nice and easy. All right. Thermostat. Bathroom. You have your back door right here. Oh, I haven't walked in here yet. Okay. I thought this was going to be just a small little tiny bathroom. In and out. You have two mirrors. You have one right here. Hi. <laughs> and you have a medicine uh, cabinet. But then you have another one right here with just a just a regular thing. And something tells me there's going to be a washer and dryer hookup in this one. There is. Awesome. That is awesome. I figured that much because the last time I was in an RV that was kind of set up like this, that's how it was. You, It was just kind of seemed random. But if you need the washer and dryer, it's here. It's not in your bedroom. It's not in the bunk room. It's not in anybody's room. It's staying away from everything. So that's a huge plus. A little bit more storage on this side. It's got a porcelain toilet, lots of leg room. It literally faces towards the outside. And what's cool is this back door also has a screen defender on it. Big plus. Pretty 
pretty big shower. Let's see here. Oh yeah. So literally huge shower. You could easily be in the six foot plus, probably six foot six and still fit in here. You have all your light switches right here. A vent fan switch right here. I don't even know if I was facing the camera. And then you have your Logic Blue um, level system right here. So it's just a way to view your if your RV is level from your phone. So you don't have to go look at the ball levels or whatever they call them and make sure your RV is level. You just carry your phone with you while you're stabilizing your RV. So. And then before we go into the back room, you do have storage all the way up and down. So this is a fairly large storage area. I, you can use it however you want. It is also adjustable. So if you want this to go up a little bit, you can put it up. You just have these little guys there and then they just, you can move these however you need them. Up here, just a big, large storage area. This RV has a ton of storage. So if you're getting this and you're just wanting to do it for the couples thing or you're using it for work or whatever, you literally have a second room back here. You have your own bathroom that's extremely large. You have an area back here. Oh, it feels actually good. Whew, it feels good in here. Um, so you do have a bunk room back here. So we'll start right here. So we have a storage room right here. So if you have kids and they need to hang clothes, it has this style hanger, which I like a lot. You can put two hangers on each little section. And then of course you have storage up top. And then a 250 pound upper uh, place to put um, for a bunk bed, the bunk bed, sorry. Words sometimes elude me on video. Um, and then of course you have a place to sleep or sit right here. I believe this also turns into it. Yeah, this will turn into a twin bed as well. And then on this side, you have storage underneath. And of course, this is backing up to uh, the outside kitchen, but you have a place to sleep up here, which is a 250 pound, no, yeah, 250 pound capacity. And then of course you got the bed right there. So this room alone, this could sleep two kids or one adult. So let's say they're all adults for whatever reason one two technically four five so you can sleep two here one here one here and technically two here however you want to do it that's up to you of course and i do love these by adventure you just put the family picture right there and it's just a beautiful picture to have back window and a place to hook up a tv all right there all right that pretty much covers everything all right, guys, so I'm going to go over all the specs right now. All right, let's go over all the specs on this RV. The dimensions of it, the length is 37.67 feet. The width is 8 feet. The height is 11.5 feet, and the interior height is 6.83 feet. Dry weight is 8,140 pounds. The payload capacity is 2,505 pounds. With those two numbers combined, gives you your GVWR, which is 10,645 pounds. And your hitch weight is 940 pounds. Your holding tanks, you have a fresh water tank, which is 45 gallons. You have two gray water tanks, which combine for 64 gallons and you have a black water tank, which is 32 gallons. You have those two propane tanks. They're 20 pounds a piece, which gives you a total of 40 pounds. That awning that it has is 20 feet in length. This RV can sleep up to 11 people. This thing is gigantic and perfect for a full family outing. Your air conditionings are 13,500 BTUs, and then your heater is 30,000 BTUs, and you have that six gallon hot water tank. And that pretty much covers everything. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out back to me. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, bell notification, everything, because I appreciate you so much. It means the world to me. There's a million YouTube channels out there and you're watching me. So thank you. Thank you so much. And until next time, bye.